Family and friends are remembering a Desert Pines football player who was shot and killed on Halloween. And tonight, a vigil was held for 17-year-old Samari Norris Johnson. Our Alyssa Bednicourt was there and shares his family's desperate plea for justice. Samari Norris Johnson's family describe him as a light to those he came into contact with. They say he had dreams bigger than life that included graduating from high school and one day becoming a pro football player. Well, those dreams were cut short on Tuesday night after a deadly shooting in North Las Vegas. He was an angel on earth. <laughs> Grieving who he was and who he could have been. I mean, I woke up this morning and just prayed it was a dream. A devastated mother who wishes she could hold her son in her arms once again. Instead, all she has are 17 years of memories by his side. Lord, we thank you for them, God. As the sun set on Thursday, those who loved and knew Samari Norris Johnson gathered to grieve the loss of the teen. <laughs> North Las Vegas police say Samari and a group of friends got out of a car wearing ski masks. According to police, they approached two trick-or-treaters on Halloween in a neighborhood near Ann Road and Camino El Norte. Surveillance video obtained by Channel 13 shows the group in the street before one of the trick-or-treaters started shooting, taking Samari's life. He didn't deserve this <laughs> whatsoever. Samari's grandmother's grief intensified by confusion and a sense of desperation as police search for the person who shot him. We need to find the guy that murdered my grandson. He's always been my protector and he always will be. And although there is surveillance video, police are still looking for the person who shot Samari. If you have a tip, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number, 702-385-5555. Reporting in West Las Vegas, I'm Melissa Bethencourt.